And he looks at me and he sees it. I'm like kind of nervous. And he goes, you ever handled one of these before, big man? And I was like, no, sir. Pull his cock And <laughs> Best sex ever, I believe, she said. Real bad You know what I mean? Read it out. Read it out. No, no, no. Read it out. He's it for who she is. Real bad man. I'll tell you, he's not a hit. No, I'm not talking about that weekend. I'm saying a boundary. I don't want to talk about it. No, I'm saying a boundary. And then he came back to the room and goes, I said, John, you tell that bitch. And he goes, that was my mom, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's bucking his mind, hey? It's the best bit, Baba. We're back up in this motherfucker. <laughs> We're back, but we never really went away. Because we nearly kill ourselves on pre-records, but we're back. This one's fresh. Aaron, welcome home. Thank you very much. Can it's we talk about Niall back. having a dream about doing stand-up before we move on? Yeah. It's been lingering in my head. Is he buried Shane Todd? He's yeah. buried Shane. Yeah. Who, <laughs> else, who else was on? Uh, uh, the whole squad. The whole squad? Everyone. whole squad what on was, a real shit? What was the All venue? star lineup. So Niall had a dream. it was like the Devonish. Jesus Christ! You Niles the dev? Niles doing stand up in his dreams, and he he starts off in the Devonish. I know there's a good amount of people. Tell him about your crowd work. Oh yeah, I I said uh, I asked someone if they'd been to a comedy gig before. And he was like, I or no, not many. And I was like, Nah, me either. Def jam roast, roast slam dunk, cool sweat. <laughs> and that killed in the dream. I was telling, I was saying, him, have you ever yeah. had? <laughs> have you ever had a dream? <laughs> Where you eat dick on stage and then you wake up and you have to go do a gig. Yeah. I had that happen in Dublin once. Yeah. I like checked into the hotel real early. Went for a kip. Was one of them like 20 minutes naps. Turned into about three hours. And uh, like in the dream I was just eating shit. And like people were calling me after. Being like, Man we were like, really looking forward to that. And that was really bad. Like, And I woke up and just. <laughs> and then I had to go down to Wheelands. Do you know one of those. Uh, you know like if you watch all those self help things. And they're like things in reality aren't as bad as they are in your mind. The 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 big the most obvious version of that is having a nightmare where you're like down on stage and like absolutely fucking freaking out in the dream, waking up cold sweats, yeah. but then actually down in real life, something you kind of like it. Yeah. It's horrible, but you're kind of going, I'm going to lean into this because I know you don't like me. I just nosedive the whole thing to fuck. Just fucking, you know, if the sink, if the ship's going down, Aye. we're all going. Stick her down. I don't have to, the show mustn't go on. Well, every now you can tell with the crowds, like just by saying hello. Yeah. Like, first hello. If you walk out, really like, how are we? And they go, yeah. You know, you're like, oh, Jesus, going to put an absolute shift in here. Clock on. But then, you know, it teaches comedians to fucking give it a bit more. That's yeah, it. you got to fucking, you got to beat it out of these motherfuckers. That's it. Wrong button. We sh- we're off to a good start. Three comedians in the room. Now, now would you ever do stand up, <laughs> thousand patrons? Uh, never. Like, would you do, like, if Didn't it was, pay me. like, if it was a new <laughs> material, are you sure? <laughs> we could pay you. Uh, maybe if I had a team of ghostwriters. Oh, where would you find that, mate? Yeah, where would you nudge, nudge, that? wink, wink? Now you know what it is, too. I was on stage being like, I was uh, banging this girl in America. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Niall. You know, doing all the accents, shit. You wrote that, but <laughs> <laughs> I see Niall pull up the tape outside the Clinton to pick me up. New fucking yoke. I was like, he's on Patreon Street, New LA. You bastard. <laughs> Fucking hey, shook he, Nate over here? He's like, is there any Pedro money? And you're like, nah, not yet. I have a few expenses. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls up in the sporty estate. I could maybe square you off a hundred dang lad, but that'd be about it. hundred dang, but I'm sinking cash into this fucking uh, sporty estate here. Yeah. That's the cat. You're a real cameraman now. I said that. Yeah. He's a real cameraman now. He's got the, he's, you, you open the boot and it's got the big long fucking big boot in it. You know, stick all the fucking tripods and C stands and all in the oh, back wow. there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Practical. Practical. But you, look, you look well at two now. Cheers. Yeah. Sharp man. <laughs> well, sure. I mean, you know, he Black fucking up. he rode off the golf just going from the end of the shops. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Guy pulled up on a Sainsbury's side road. You were dreaming about that? Uh, no, that was reality. <laughs> that, was, that was a sad reality. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? What happened to give us just a bo- like a metal bollard? Yeah, I drove straight into a metal bollard. Oh Jesus! Dad. I mean, I took half an alloy off going through the drive-through there a second ago before I got chatted up by the guy at the hatch. He was trying to fuck. Dude, my mom was trying to fuck through the hatch. Where'd you get your tattoos? We know we all know what that means. Yeah. Do you have any more? 
You know, that's that's what that conversation goes. They're nice. And is that all you have? Or have you any, like, on your lower abdomen, top of the cock shaft? Or have you any tramp stamps or anything? Or what are we talking? Have you any high up the back of your hamstring? <laughs> Gay guy's not, not shy about, uh, not backwards about being forwards. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot, player. Imagine I was like, yeah, what are you going to do? You want yeah. a latte or something? Yeah. Pop, that, just leave the car in the drive through and hop through the window. What'd that McMouth do? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that McSucky. <laughs> Mc, McFondle through yeah, the window. I'd love a McSucker. That'd be that'd be res levels five thousand if you could pull through the window with a thing. Oh, I just pull up and be like, stop. Pick like, up girls through the Mickey D's hatch. You're like, here, you want to get out of here? You just drag her into the car. Yeah, not drag her, help her out of it. What happened to you there? I don't know. It's the grouse. What did you do? You got uh, a flashback? No, I was on. I just fucking my throat there went a bit weird, but I was on the famous grouse last night with Elliot Steele. Booked the hotel, you know, planned to have a wee nice kip. I was like, I'll get up tomorrow, do the podcast, do lavery. It's been a nice day, and then just ended up on the pints again. Real bad man. I know. I need to stop. It's called conditioning. Yeah. Once once you're in it, it's you know, it's like when them boys run like Eddie Hazard runs a marathon a day for like a year. You can't just stop. That's like you, Eddie Hazard. Aye. Is another comedian? Yeah. Do you not see that? He, he went mental and, uh, years ago and like ran a marathon, like a hundred marathons or something. Right. But like when he completes the hundred, you, you don't just go, right, that's me throwing my feet up now. Yeah. You got to fucking taper it off. Same with you. you. You'd do a wine house if you just came off the, the bench right now. If you just went, if you went back to Oma and went fully clean cut, you'd just die in your sleep. I've been on the road for three weeks. Yeah. You're going to you're gonna have to, you're going to have to have a couple of wee glasses of red with a mother. Aye. Sort of Your mother doesn't even drink sophisticatedly like that. Nah, she drinks like fucking like a glass of vodka or a splash of coke. And well, goes, I don't really like drink. Or all her drinks like what a full alky needs first thing in the morning to stop the shakes. Essentially, yeah. No, there's stuff like a full baker of fucking vodka. Like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she'd be on the Elvis morning juice, you know. Do you ever see videos of that though? Boys are full alkies and they're just they're like this and they literally go and just stops. Oh wow. It's incredible. Yeah, you do. You got those shakes today? Uh, <laughs> Did everybody in comedy get it last night when you were on the grouse? Slagging everybody? Well, I took uh, I took out for a real Balfax experience, you know, took him to the points, seen a bit of the fiddly diddly D. Uh, and then- What is this shit, mate? <laughs> <laughs> took, him to, uh, took him to a taxi rank to get a carry out. I, I can't show him no more than that. Like, Went in and I was like, uh, <laughs> I don't know where the fuck I thought it was. I was like, hey, can I get a bottle of Jameson off you? She goes, nah, no, we wouldn't do that, nah. No. And I was like, what have you got? Six warm tins of Carlsberg, do you? Famous grouse. And then... Well, hold on. Where, where, were you, where were you drinking the grouse? At the hotel? At the hotel. Oh, so you got the carry it and went back to the hotel? Yeah. I thought you were ordered. I was, that's, you see, that's what was throwing me off. I thought you'd went into a hotel bar and seen everything on show and went, give me famous grouse. No, 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 no. Oh, this is a last, a, this is a last resort. I haven't, job. I haven't drank famous grouse since I was like a fucking teenager, by mistake. When I used to play rugby, the boys would, you know... You know the rugby, but you know the business. You would go to some fella's house and drink the the full three liters of Strongbow. Yeah, three lead challenge, and then you would drink. Everyone would just get like a quarter bottle or a half bottle of Famous Grouse. It's rotten stuff, and I don't know why. I think I think it was deliberate because it was stinking. Yeah, you know, but you'd be like, let's get on the Grouse. Uh, however, see, uh, see, like real Scotch drinkers. Apparently, Grouse is like as good as it gets for like a fucking. Hardburn? <laughs> For, yeah, if you want your teeth to fall out, that's yeah. a bit. But that's like a good have it at home without spending too much money, yeah. whiskey, if you're in the scotch. No, we had it in the Clayton with uh, coffee cups and ice. Sexy. I said to the adult here in the rank, I was like, uh, Any ice, lad? A bit of ice. You may go get it yourself there. So I went through the hatch and fucking started scooping it up myself. This boy got knee capped out the back. Yeah. Where was this taxi rank? The Botanic? Yeah. Okay. And then there was some guy in there, like, actually looking to get a taxi. Yeah. For fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. Right home and fucking battle of Christ here. <laughs> anyway, we're back! <laughs> my my can has been in America! I was supposed to be in America too! Furious a wee bit. Are you uh, still not over it? Ah, uh, fucking. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. I know I can sort of go anytime, but you know what I mean? You, when you, lo- you know what I mean? You're fucking. You lose that initial magic of the excitement, and now it's like, when, yeah. when are we going to fit that in? You know? Yeah. Might not happen, you know? So. Don't know, a bit furious. You know, and then you put up your e-photo montages, guns, teddies. Joe guns Ro- and Joe teddies. Rogan's comedy club. Guns, teddies, and Rogan. How was uh, the Mothership Comedy Club? I must say, a gorgeous room. Gorgeous room. It's mm. like, it's basically remodeled after the comedy store in LA. It's a bit of it. 
Especially like that Wii room is the exact same as the OR that we got plastered on that time. Mm. And it, it just like it, it just makes stand up look cool. You know yeah. what I mean? Feels very cool to be stand there. Stand up is cool. Nah, Even Niall's gonna do it all the time. <laughs> we got a thousand patrons. <laughs> Nile smashing the dev. What what lineups did you see? Did you see any big boys? Did you? Oh, I Bobby Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> He's a thicky. Um, he was great. He was unreal. And then I seen a Joe Rogan and Friends show, which was like him, Brian Simpson, Tony Hinchcliffe, and uh, guy Ishan, who's just like a door guy there. Tell you what, some pay around there too. Some money not gonna buy. Some money not gonna buy. But this is it. The guy doesn't want to make money. Yeah, it's a passion to, project. He like. wants to get these comedians paid. Tell you what, it was like fucking TSA going in too. Take a photo of your face, you know, all that shit. Scan you down. I well, this is Empty it. the pockets. Like, I remember you saying before about someone saying about the comedy store, like, you know, because Joe Rogan's so influential, some lunatic might John Lennon the fuck out of him. Yeah. Not in that place, not in nah. Texas, nah. You have no chance. And it's I all... I there's a guy just, you know, with like a fucking, you know, dressed like wallpaper with a sniper rifle, just like waiting upstairs. Yeah. In case you want to act up, he's like... Every show's got the yonder pouches, you know. I don't like that, man. I don't mind it. I don't hate it at all. I mean, there was some incidences that I saw where I was like, oh, it's probably good they had this on deck. Really? Oh, why? What do you mean? A couple of N-bombs drop here and there. Oh, oh, why? You um, know what I mean? Our boy Stan. Yeah. Uh, no, does it keep that in the pouch a lot? Jesus Christ. But I uh, great. It was it was great to see it. Like, um, but then once you've been there, like, to one show, you're like, ah, it's just like anywhere can on it. As long as the acts are good, you don't really give a fuck. That's and true. Bobby Kelly might be top five easy. Yeah. He's just a fucking machine gun. So funny. Class. So, like, one of the people are like, oh, you know, you kind of need, like, a bit of a concept for a show to keep people interested for an hour. Nah. Not if you're at that level. No, that's bullshit. He just fucking tears through for an hour straight, and it's absolutely hilarious. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Just fucking, yeah, machine gun. Yeah. Just belt-fed machine gun. Just very fun, too. So you had your heart broken in New York. Oh, I, I went, he went over for a rom com. Uh, and he just got an absolute, a hard like, like a fucking what do you call Slasher? your man? What do you call your man? Writes all the fucking banshees of fucking whatever. He got one of those. Oh, that would be a good film, you know, just like a rom com that just falls on its face at the start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's you know flying into New York, listening to the Strokes. Yeah. And then you land, and she's just like, "What are you doing?" Here? Yeah. Yeah, I saw a bit on the rip for three weeks. But what's for you won't go by you because you know I don't want to. We do. We do feel like tactful. I'm gonna be about this. Well, <laughs> the guy, you know what? You know if, what do they say? If you fall off the what is it? What is it? <laughs> Get back on the horse. The wagon. The horse. Get back on the horse. If you fall, what is it? If you fall off a horse. What is it? You yeah. follow the horse. The quickest yeah, thing to get back on her. The best thing to do is get back on her. Aye. Get back get on a different horse. Aye. And not in it six times. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, are tactful. <laughs> <laughs> the revolver macabre. <laughs> six rounds in him loaded up at all times. <laughs> <laughs> he sent me the, the, uh, the day same. after he sent me. No, 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 we gotta go back a bit. We gotta go back. He phoned. Can I? I'm just gonna. Like, he, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell a story where you can think about it after. But he could. They tell you it's not the way he worded it. He phoned me and he's like, "Oh, I was out last night, and I fucking uh, was like chatting to this woman and her and her uh, and her ma were there, and the, the ma was kind of wingman on her." And then I had a few drinks with them. And then I went, to, and I went to the mothership. And then, I, you know, she messaged me again. I went around to her gaff. And then this is the way he put it. He goes, "Now, hand on heart, you know, may the Lord strike. May me the down. Lord strike me down if I'm if I'm bullshitting you here. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't bust in her six times. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucking near chucked the phone across oh. the room. <laughs> So I was like, bro, that is rage yeah. built up. That. Oh, wow. Well, this is like, I only get the right every presidential term. Uh, so the last time I got it, Trump 2024, I, and Wuhan was a decent place to visit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so that's me now to 2027. Got it on my system. The, the, you way, know? The, way, the way you teed that up, though, was fucking beautiful. Though. Yeah. You know, in the eyes of God, <laughs> you know, may, may lightning strike me down <laughs> if I betray you. <laughs> But I bust on her six times. 
and then it, 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 the next day I just sent them a link to was it a link or a screenshot? Screenshot. A screenshot of uh, Drake's song Six God. <laughs> <laughs> I know, fuck, I nearly put the, uh, literally, it was one of them ones where I'd read it out of context, it was like with a couple of friends or something, read that, and a complete luger came out of my nose for laughing so hard. <laughs> in the middle of Texas barbecue. <laughs> Just snapped out the nose. That's all you can really. That's the best, you know, possible reaction you can hope for when you send someone a funny message. Is just they fucking exhale, just liquid out of themselves. Yeah, like you don't want the immediate like cry, cry face laughing or whatever. Yeah. You want like you know a bit of time pass by and like, and then they, when you're on the phone, you're like, oh my god, I absolutely yeah shit myself laughing there. That was yeah, that was very funny. But I those you know swings and roundabouts and all that there. Old Alte. Yeah, well she's you know she's older than me certainly, you know. I'm saying I love the same age as me. Yeah. <laughs> Basically a gilf is yeah. what we're saying. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I don't know. I mean, I'm a weird thing at the moment, you know, because of the initial thing. I'm in a bit of a sad boy era right now. It's called a post rut. No, well, no. The guy's got funny hanging off him somehow. And no. If you're out there and you've got body image issues and you don't know what you're doing, look at this guy. Busting about six times, you know what I mean? He's get he's showing me pictures. He's like, this girl was looking the ride, you know, fucking <laughs> some some. You know, the Americans are like the girl was called like Martin or something. What was the <laughs> he's like, oh, this girl, she wanted a slice of the big man too, and her, her name was literally like just a fella's name. Now, now we'll have to have an editing meeting after this. Nah, nah. Nah. <laughs> we don't add it. Are you crazy? Uh, you better do it. Or call nah. get you How much are we at it now? None. Clip it. Clip it. Sick shooter. Speaking of shooting, I did actually shoot the first gun. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Went into the range. The man was dumping clips the whole time. <laughs> he got the revolver out. Uh, he got the revolver. Get that fat revolver out. Well, actually, <laughs> funny enough. <laughs> it wandered into a pharmacy. I mean, like, have you got a fucking sh- holster for this fat revolver? Well, my Glock does reload faster than the natural AR-15. <laughs> I realized that. It was basically 24 uh, hours. Don't be letting that off in school. <laughs> and now, fucking first time ever shooting a gun, give me the full school shooter special. Like, really? The full child killer? And it, it terrified. You walk in... And they give you the fucking earmuffs and they give you, you know, the glasses and all. And the guy's standing there. The proper. earmuffs fit you? Oh, I just about. No. Uh, and uh, the God guy, damn boy. The guy behind the counter, he was like big, thick, old white beard. And I'm like, looked like something out of a fucking Goosebumps novel. And he's like giving us a demonstration. <laughs> and he looks at me and he sees it. I'm like kind of nervous. And he goes, you ever handled one of these before, big man? And I was like, no, sir. Pull his cock out. And, <laughs> and he goes, uh... He was like talking us through it, and he goes, "Yeah, so I'm gonna be, I'm be your lane supervisor today. My name's Gunner." And I was like, "No way, you were born that way." And then it worked here. You obviously had another name, changed it. It for depends what way he spelled it. Gunner. There's Gunner Nelson, the fighter. And he was like, uh, "Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna be your lane supervisor. Uh, we're lane 20." He goes, "We didn't used to do this, in case you're wondering, but uh, past couple of months, a couple people come in here and done shot themselves. So we gotta kind of supervise now." Deliberately uh, shot themselves or actually? Oh, I just like, went, out, went into the range, got the gun, and then just and that was it. Well, went in Rome. Yeah, went to Texas, shoot yourself, and uh, he was doing like a. I was holding the R15 and like the recoil of that fucker, like my tits still purple from it. Is it? Oh, I Show and me. then <laughs> I was like, I was like shooting it, <laughs> and he could like tell I, I was like shaking my first time shooting it, and he comes up behind me, and you know like and like a coming of age yeah. like teen movie where it's like horny it's all, teenagers it's the bowling alley. Yeah, it's all in the hips. He's like, there you go, there you go, and then I, I took he bricked it. up behind you. Oh, I just fit his balls against my ass. And he just, he goes, there you go, there you go. And I shot it right in the fucking lung to. And then he goes, there you go, partner. <laughs> <laughs> you were shooting up skills in no time, big boy. <laughs> there you go, big man. You got it in you. But you, I got, you got those rye genetics. <laughs> I, get, I get it now, you know. Oh, yeah. It's fun. There, uh, there's no doubt, like, uh, shooting guns is fun, like. Fun as shit. But, uh. I w- again, I feel like if I lived there, I'd be like, not a, not another thing I'm into. Yeah. You know, I'd be like, you know, I'd be, I'd be doing stupid things. I'd be like, look at that there. They fucking dipped that in like a camo fucking thing. It was only another 1,500 pounds. <laughs> like, just losing my mind with fucking shit. You have a car hard camo gun? This <laughs> is actually a, a Palace <laughs> X fucking browning or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> 
but I it's, it's <sighs> Texas has great crack like Austin is good crack it's, I'm sure it was I'm sure it know, was I believe you you know um, me and Al here decking about shooting specials and all fucking oh yeah we were shooting oh, well, hey, we were shooting too bro not loads <laughs> of bullets but here <laughs> footage he sh- he's shooting loads we're shooting B-roll <laughs> <laughs> But I, you showed me that follow up text from this this uh, this old doll. Yeah, you know, she was she was enjoying her time with you. <laughs> <laughs> Good reviews, one for the poster. Uh, best sex ever, I believe. She said, "Real bad." You man. know what I mean? Read it out. Read it out. No, 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 no. He's it for who? Real bad man. I'll tell you, he's not again. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't Could think. Can no be sacred? I don't. Five hundred hey, Patreons. Five hundred Patreons. He'll come to your eyes and ride you. <laughs> Best sex ever. The best bit, I mean, not to give too much away, but whenever you said, she said to you, can I ride your head? I was like, fuck, <laughs> she must have some hip flexibility. You said it'd be like getting on a mechanical boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, she's fucking... Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? He- two fake hips after that shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right knees away piece. Literally my age. But anyway, oh, it's Jesus. good crack. At least someone's out there having fun. <laughs> we were air shooting. So yeah, any other crack now? Nah. You sa- your sad boy mode then? Uh, oh God. It's not nice now. What have you been listening to? Frank Ocean flag? A lot of Frank Ocean, a lot of Drake, you know. <laughs> Ride my face. Ride my fucking fat face. Bust inside you six times. <laughs> Da, 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 funny like a cinnamon roll. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it would add that out. I don't know. <laughs> Full clip, McCann. Oh Jesus Christ! The revolver himself. I, I fucking <laughs> I rubbed the shit out of my eyes there. Oh, Sad fuck. boy mode. What? It, what's uh, what's the what's the uh, remedy for that then? Over the next time, getting your side plenty. Rid yourself of the demons. Just, get, just like you said, get back on the horse. You get know, back on the horse. Get back on the horse. You know, is that a is, does that bring does that move your stock up on Tinder at home? Like if someone slides in the DMs, and you're like, just to let you know, <laughs> I'm punching the fanny away when I'm in, in America. <laughs> yeah, here's what previous applicants said. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. No, you just you know, you fuck it. What do you do? You know, move on. Move on. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I shouldn't have drank that grouse last night. That is not a romantic drink to be drinking in a song, there, is it? Yeah. You should, you should, you should write. That's how you get your anger out. A rap song. Yeah. Well, F- faded off the grass. I was saying, to, I was saying to him, uh, Niall, whenever it's so like we went to a bar, and she kind of like gave me this whole like speech that she'd been like seeing someone else, whatever. But while that was happening, I like kind of just disassociated, and what I did was I stared into just my pint of Guinness. And I just started thinking about really great WrestleMania moments. Oh. So I like tuned her out and then looked at my paint and just heard like, Triple H is a 19 time world heavyweight champion. By God, I can't believe it. And then tuned her back in for the end of it. I was like, I will show whatever you want to, you know? <sighs> whatever helps. It's hard to have conversations like that, isn't it? It's hard to be sitting still talking. Yeah. I'd say me and you the same. We'd be like, can we just walk in a circle around this room and you talk at me? Yeah. And let me process it. Yeah. And then I'll leave the room for a minute, scream and the pill, come back. Yeah. <laughs> and then hit, hit you with two, two, three days, two, three days later, you know, I'll come back with a refined answer for you. But yeah. like, don't make me respond right now. Yeah. Too sarcastic. Yeah, it's the worst. Too reactive. Yeah. Yeah, we suffer from the same problem, I think. You know, I would just be, I'd just take it out and pour it over my head or something. I, I yeah. don't know, just to break the tension. Yeah. Um, do you do any wrestling moves on her now? I don't think this can go any further. And you're like fucking rock bottom to the table. Straight into the pedigree. What's the pedigree? So Doggy you, style? The, can actually? You put the three arms up here and then just... Oh, yeah. Lump down in their head. Uh, God, I would kill her. Uh, yeah, you would kill her. Yeah. <laughs> My big bone dig one time. Fucking, what do you call that, dude? Rikishi? Yeah. <laughs> Not too far off at the minute with my run. Let me Google Rikishi here just for my own... Uh, R.A. He used to wear the bun bag. Which is the ass out. One of his signature moves would put the put the opponent in the corner and just rub your arse in his face. And I will bet you like Look at that. Look at the bunda on that. Where's he from? Samoa or something? That's a full car boot seal on that man's fucking 
I mean, look, look, I mean, that's not. I mean, if that was a schoolboy Q video, yeah. you, you'd be happy enough. But yeah. then you turn him around, and it's fucking. You know, he just he does not look like that. Man, look at the ass on this guy. Do you, do you not think you would be having? You know the way you'd have a bit of crack with workmates and stuff. You know, if you were Rikishi, you'd be like just not showering for like fucking four days before you wrestle, and then run in there with a the fucking stank ass. Look at him pull his trousers and all that, man. Sell you late, boy. <laughs> Nothing late about it. <laughs> Sell you heavy. Sell you fucking half price. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Booty game too strong. Who's that? Who's this fucking? Is that Lizzo? Lizzo and Rikishi have the same dream collab. The same bunda. <laughs> Lizzo and Rikishi. Why do people hate Lizzo so much? I don't know. She does get a lot of shit, doesn't she? She does get a lot of shit. Is it because she is? A bigger girl but like at the same time who gives a flam fuck you know what i mean yeah. you're, you're a singer just do the singing but like is it because she will be like you know i'm a big girl and then she'll be on like instagram going like i love cakes or something and they're like you're not allowed to be like openly a fat bitch yeah you know what i mean you have to have, have some shame about it i mean like, we get away with it oh yeah lizzo <laughs> do calm come on down to the bomb squad come on down to the bomb squad lad you know have all mean? the cake you want Imagine Lizzo being in the corner here. Munching on the mustard kipling. Uh, we'd never get the podcast done. No. We'd go to make the, do the drive through and then come back. And she'd be like, should we get some noodles or something? I'm like, fucking right. Fucking right, Lizzo, good woman. Someone gets it. Someone gets it, exactly. Bomb Squad featuring Lizzo. Couldn't name you a song. Uh, anyway, I'm kind of sidetracked by the size of this, this dude's ass, man. Look at that. Oh, God damn. Oh, I. This is a Rikisha, right? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> I just, I wouldn't be washing the G-string at all. Look at the whiplash in that. Full 90 degree angle. Yeah, you could you could legitimately just break someone's neck like that. Chin tucked into the asshole. <laughs> oh yeah, he's definitely saving himself a bit there. <laughs> Last minute. <laughs> oh, fuck Did you ever see those videos? I seen a video of a, of uh, like a large. She was like quite muscular black lady, mm -hmm. really fucking twerking down on this guy's head. Where it looked like he was paying to have it done, and the guy's face was fucked. <laughs> like she was literally like. Like really coming down on it, and the guys like fucking in hospital with the nose side roads. Like, I think some guys are into that. You yeah. know, ass worship, then aye, or something like that. Worship the hoop. Well, what's the what's the difference between you know I'm heavily into it and I'm worshiping it? Yeah, you know, you know I'm enjoying it. Mm. Yeah, well, it's like a domineering thing, isn't it? Men who like to be dominated. Is that is that one about? Is that one across into worship when you're so, when yeah. you're like just fucking drown me in it? Yeah, drown me in ass. Aye. <laughs> That's the name of the podcast now, right? That drown me an ass. <laughs> oh no, sex shooter. Sex shooter. <laughs> sex gun McCann here. 36 chambers over here. Can't, can't tell you boys not. No. <laughs> he phoned me the next day. He's like, my next roster. <laughs> well, no, I know you enjoy it because you're an old pervert. He's like, I'm walking down the street here with a cock and a bucket of ice. <laughs> Which in Austin cost me 17 euro. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, know taxi rank right guys there. Did you have a friction burn clean off you the next day? I just got up and went for a coffee and went about my day. Called you. Here's a question. How many times did you get on your side the day after the six busts? I couldn't. You couldn't? No, you skipped the day. Straight in the back and went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't sleep in my back. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Come on, my back, can't sleep in my back. <laughs> it's because your ass too big, you're never flat. I know. It's like you're lying on a fucking speed bump. <laughs> right in my head I think it is It kind of sinister To sleep in your back though That is a bit sociopathic I think uh, Yeah You yeah, know You gotta a, have some sort of formation To it You can't just be like Fucking Like Karen Barnett sleeps like a yeah, Karen Barnett sleeps like a dead Karen man Karen Barnett does the wake um, <laughs> He does He literally sleeps like He's in a wake Fucking Like showroom Peaceful A wake showroom Yeah <laughs> What the fuck TZ Auto is fucking <laughs> He looks awful like himself. <coughs> I, I'm more of a on. I, I, I'm, yeah, I look like a fallen out of a building when I sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so fucking fat and fat, you know. I, I slag you about having a big head, but my, you know, I'm quite large around that area. Yeah. If I lie on my own arm, pins and needles, man. Oh, I see him. You know, I woke up before and I'm like, my fucking like shoulder blades totally fucked. <laughs> Like, I have to, like, snap the disc back in a wee bit. The disc. <laughs> snap the fucking disc back in. Oh, my <laughs> Christ. Disgusting. Yeah. But, like, uh, yeah, no, fuck sleeping in the back. No. No. 
No way. I will. I will say. I will. I'll. We'll divulge a wee bit more, but this is too funny not to say. I was saying nothing <laughs> about how. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, American women are obviously very sexually liberated, <laughs> you know. And there was one point where she said to me, she goes, "God, you know, you're such like an extroverted guy, and then like you know, in the bedroom, you're like so quiet. Like I don't really get it." And I was like, "Oh, I know. I I don't talk in the bedroom at all. I won't speak. Like I, you know, I do this on mute." And I was like, she's like, yeah, I just kind of, you know, it's part of it. You know, I I like it. You know. And I was like, well, what do you want me to say? And it's actually hard for me to even say this. She goes, like, tell me how good my pussy is. <laughs> and I said back to her, I goes, I mean, it's, it's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> like I was talking about a pea and ham soup. She said, it's lovely. That is lovely. <laughs> tell me the confidence of that, though. Oh, I. Tell me how good my pussy feels. Do you talk in the bedroom? <laughs> I watched a podcast clip once and they were like, uh, the guy, the guy was talking to this girl and she was like, or he was like, gir girls had said that they enjoyed the adult entertainment of uh, a guy who, I can't even remember the fucking name now, like a Spanish name, uh -huh. porn star. Uh -huh. The guy's famous, like makes his own, kind of makes his own porn now. Of course I checked it out. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Of course I checked it out. I was like, let me see. What, and they were like, what do you like about this guy? And they're like, well, for, he is hot. Hog on him. But like he just he's very passionate and he never stops talking. Yeah. And sure enough, I clicked the clip on the guys like, like that dirty bitch shit like that spin over again like that that's your fucking buddy. Oh my god, let me bite your tits and I'm like, oh my god, suck my dick oh my god, suck my pussy. You're like, bro, have her chill out, man. <laughs> well, there's like, like, he's like in a fucking auction for cattle. <laughs> well, I'm like, have you any apple juice or anything? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> Are these the good pills? Are you alright? You alright? Just how long do I put my shoes outside the room? <laughs> you might have to keep the socks on. Keep the socks on. Tommy help like. Yeah, Tommy help like they're grown toenails from playing up a wee bit here while I'm <laughs> You just can't stop talking but it's just the right bullshit that you're into. Yeah. I don't know, I think the best repel special was probably uh, the murder revelation or something. I don't know, it was weird. Shall we know? Definitely yeah, Undertaker should have lost his transmission straight to Brock Lesnar. It made no sense but noise. <laughs> Give it to an upcoming star, you know? <laughs> I know it's kind of silly, but it's entertainment. You know, it's entertainment. You know, right? you know you just, let, just let yourself go for it and enjoy it. <laughs> the pussy feels nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you do have dead arm pussy now, yeah. wasn't <laughs> You got that DOP. And I go over to the mother and she's a fucking, she's a, she's a shepherd's pie on a non but you don't fucking mind. Like, I can't even fucking say what like. Always triangle sandwiches too. No. <laughs> Woman couldn't cut a square sandwich ever. Like. Is it autism? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> fucking eggs all night too. I was trying to buy them Eula Fleurs today. But then I sort of ran. I'm like, do I want to, do I go to Shepherd's Austin or do I want to get a brand new pair of Converse? I don't know. I don't know. But the, the best Taylor song for my money uh, would be. Uh, <laughs> She's just going, tell me again, my pussy feels to shut you up, you know? <laughs> oh, fuck. We remember that dude's name, or we could actually just sit and watch this guy ride girls. What was I going to say? I had, oh, I had a note goodness. there, and you said something. Oh, yeah, so in Austin, I said at my friend Molly's house, who is a comedian slash former porn star, right? And whenever I is got it, the no, fight over... Not to be crass, but absolutely accurate. The one with the biggest tits I've ever seen in my life. Yes, the one with back problems. Okay. And I got the flight over, and... Real bad man. When I landed, she was like, hey, I'm in, I am I forgot I'm doing a show in Dallas tonight, last minute. But she's like, just go in and stay in my room. And she and then she sent me a message 20 minutes later going like, oh my God. Um, yeah, there's no easy way to say this, but uh, I've left my vibrator in my bed. So if you could just get rid of that, that'd be great. My cancel the phone with her knickers on his head going, oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> I didn't even see that. And sir, this thing was like, remember the game for PlayStation, SingStar? Uh, it was like a full SingStar mic. And I was like, Jesus Christ. And I was like, just lifted it up and <laughs> sat out of the bed. Did I sat not in the room, my boxers? Did you go like this? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, I'll tell you this as well. So, obviously, like, listen, 
I love a bit of monogamy, right? You know, like I don't really like to fuck around too much. I, this trip obviously is an exception, but that'll be me in 2027. But uh, I was chatting to my mate Spencer, his flatmate John, right? Who is this guy that came from a pretty strict enough household and then moved to New York and just went absolutely apeshit. Nice. Right? So the guy is in a polyamorous relationship with this girl called Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Margaret, let me suck your piss, Margaret, you dirty bitch. Oh, yeah, spread it open, Margaret. So, uh, this is so funny. So, like, he was on... He, he was like, 90? He was, like, telling me what he's like, yeah, man, like, it's cool. Like, you know, she, like, she understands, like, obviously people want to sleep with other people. And we just sort of have this agreement where it's like, you know, we do that, but we tell each other about it. And we kind of implement these boundaries to make sure it never gets, like, too crazy. And I was like, good for you, man. Fucking top shagger. I was like, I couldn't do it, but fair bloody. Anyway, 10 minutes later, he's on the phone. And I hear him in his room on the phone. And he's like, hello? No, no, I'm going to work. Yeah, I'll text you when I'm on the train, but that's about it. No, I'm not talking about that weekend. I'm saying a boundary. I don't want to talk about it. No, I'm saying the boundary. And then he came back to the room. I goes, I said, John, you tell that bitch. And he goes, that was my mom, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's bucking his mouth, too. Can, can you imagine the telling your mom? Imagine I told my mom I'm sat in the boundary. She'd be like, well, I'm sat in the fucking mousetrap in your bed. You hear? <laughs> Don't bother coming back. Sat in the bar. I mean, this is this is where the the mental well being's got out of hand. You know, people are just like that. Anything they don't, any anytime they meet any adversity, it's like that's a boundary. That doesn't. That yeah. doesn't. That's the good one. That doesn't serve me. Yeah. That doesn't serve me. And then you're just in a fucking, you know, padded room by yourself listening to lo-fi beats. Going, yeah. that's me happy now. That's me totally happy. Not a problem on earth. I'm full of fucking rattle. Yeah. All my boundaries. My boundaries. <laughs> I'd love to even try that just one morning. Yeah. That's me setting a boundary. I don't know if ba boundaries aren't for fellas. You should, boundaries are for women. I would love to see you throw that out there for the crack. Just be like, I'm more I'm setting a boundary. Just about the most bullshit ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would just I would just get a big sweeping one that covered everything. Like if she was like, she stopped leaving nine coats and I'd be like, more I'm setting a boundary. <laughs> and, I, and then but the, but it, but it's a big umbrella boundary where I go, the boundary is don't speak to me. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, um, don't speak to me when it's daylight. Do you need to order black pudding every time with a side? <laughs> Maureen, I'm setting the boundary. Don't talk about this. This I is my life. I did. I did that. We were out for breakfast the other day. I was like, can I get the uh, veggie fry? Because I do, I do like the tomato and the, you know, the spinach and shit yeah. like that. And, uh, and the two eggs. I was like, the veggie fry. And she was like, is that everything? Like, With <laughs> bacon and sausage. Yeah. And black pudding. Yeah. And two flat whites. <laughs> so basically, I'm like, I want a full double fry up, but with spinach on it to make me feel better about myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Boundaries. Boundaries. Yeah, it's not for dudes. It's not for dudes. It, it does make you sound a bit soft when you start talking about boundaries. Uh, I'm implementing a boundary. Yeah. That's hard to be in a relationship. I don't know what the, you, you got to ride the balance of perfectly formed, confident man. Mm -hmm. but then also be somehow vulnerable. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're like, what do you want, right? Tight line to walk. What, what, what do you want right here? You know, you want to be, you know, like fucking go-getter, aggressive, go after it. So the people are like, oh my God, this is a quality man, as they say. But then also, you know, cry for a minute or something. Oh, I also want to see another psychic. Why? The day after. This motherfucker's like, this motherfucker, any Patreon money, man? What about <laughs> What do you spend it on? Psychics? <laughs> Basically, the day after your doll had this, like, talk of me, right? The girls that I was living up there were like, fuck that bitch, you know, all this here. And then they were like, let's go day drinking. I was like, right, happy days, let's do it. We go day drinking, go to Applebee's, get hammered on Long Island iced teas. Then we're walking home, and there's a psychic. And the doll's like, oh, you know, we should call in, it'd be fun, what, what, whatever. Is, does she have her own building, or is she in, like, a trailer? This was a gay dude uh, who had his own, like, it was basically attached to his apartment, okay. like on the side. So I was like, neon light. <laughs> I was like, yeah, fuck it. we'll go in, whatever. And uh, sees one of us each at a time. Now this is hilarious. So I go in, and he's like, he's like, first of all, he's wearing a full grade tracksuit, right, with a clear, like stain on it. And I was like, there's no way that's gone as the ability to see into the future. 
you know and i go in and he goes oh he's like big aura and i was like right and i was, was like what's your fucking mouth <laughs> spanish for us chicks <laughs> oh grande aura <laughs> So then I make another stain on my pants. <laughs> so he starts talking to me in the whole time, like for fuck's sake. And he goes, Oh, you've been through like a little bit of heartbreak recently, huh? And I was like, I'm crying. Uh, and he goes, Yeah. He goes, Here's the thing is like, you actually have a block chakra. And I was like, What do you mean? And he goes, You have, everyone has like the five chakras, and your loved one is blocked. And you're like, I'm blocked. I put nine <laughs> long eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes, he goes, yeah. So here's the thing: like, this kind of goes beyond like therapy. This is a very spiritual thing. But if the love chakra, your love chakra has like a dark cloud around it, so like you know, you'll have an easy time getting love, but maintaining love will be very difficult for you. Oh. I'm just so they're like, oh Jesus, oh, it's not great, does it? Yeah. And he goes, uh, but. He's like, I do offer a service where I can unblock it. And it's very, it's like a spiritual cleansing. And I was like, okay, okay. Okay. And he goes, no, it's not cheap. But at the same time, you can't really put a price on love. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll do it for you tomorrow. $400. And I was like, no, sir. I was like, I'd rather die alone. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I told Can you unblock him anything else? Vex or something? What is his eye gone ahead and he just sucked me off? <laughs> <laughs> it's unblocked now. <laughs> we can do that or a blowjob. <laughs> we can do that service <laughs> or a. Oh my god. Fisting. <laughs> How much did you pay him for the consultation? The consultation. <laughs> What a great word for what that was. Uh, the consultation was forty dollars. Mental. Yeah. But you know, we had fun. You know, it was yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would he have had to have been wearing for you to take him seriously? Instead of the jizz stain tracks it? <laughs> uh anything that wasn't that, you know. If I walked down a he cape? was oh, yeah, a cape would have been nice, yeah. A cape would have been nice. But you know, you walk in and it's literally just his gaff. So like he, you know, I think he has like housemates and everything. So he's like, all right, guys, keep it down. I, I, yeah, I got another sucker in the back here. The fat doughy big, Irish guy, big aura. I'm gonna tell him he's got a block chakra. Easy four hundred. The guy seems retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to swindle a big fat retard out of that. Uh, Four hundred dollars. Yeah, he's really loud. I heard him talking about some girl turned him down, so I'm probably gonna bring that up. And then he's yeah. think that you know, he's trying to get into a relationship with a prostitute. <laughs> Thinks she loves him. <laughs> His chakras blocked. <laughs> Let me just look into the crystal ball. You will unblock your chakra six times in a row in Austin, Texas. <laughs> You're right. I unblocked the chakra. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way we're going. Is that a, <laughs> that's your new dirty talk. I'm going to unblock the chakra in your head. Oh, oh, oh. I'm unblocking. Oh, oh, the chakra. <laughs> that's like how I call she would say Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> Heard that chakra song? Something, something Africa? Oh, <laughs> with the, with, who we, did the other ones come in with you to the psychic? No, he, he could only, he, I can only read the energy for one person at a time. All of you guys in here at the one time is too much. So we all, two of us. Is, it like, is it like having five radios on? He's like, ah, oh, it's too much chakras going on in here. I can't even concentrate. <laughs> Overstimulation. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the two, like, two of us went to a bar while the other person was getting red. Red out. Uh, <laughs> red out, gold or cat. I do accept PayPal, by the way. Here, use the fucking chakras, bro. Just take my pen. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just guess my number. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I, so I'm going to die alone, essentially, but, you know, maybe I'll go back and get the cleanse. I'd love to know what the procedure was, though. Like, I'd love to know if I if I did give him... Imagine me going back to my law and saying, Ma, I spent 400 pounds to get my chakra unblocked. Oh, you're mad. She'd be like, chakra? <laughs> <laughs> what about my toilet? Never mind your chakras? <laughs> How to make a fake screw to <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> How to unblock a chakra, let's see. <laughs> So how do you unblock chakras? You can purge the seven chakras, you see. You have seven. Meditation, m m mudras, uh, affirmations, pranayama, and yoga poses. Oh, uh, there we go. How to clear a block chakra, yoga posture. Yeah, he probably would have just made you do a bunch of like, and you don't set a fucking, you know, a rock on your tits. And then we're like, <sighs> all just downward dog to block a jet. Yeah. You can definitely unblock some chakras with like uh, deadlifts and stuff. Uh, you know, I've done I've done like some heavy exercise and walked away. I mean, like my chakras are fucked right now. Yeah. What are what are the seven chakras and how can you unblock them? Uh, what are the chakras in Sanskrit? The word uh, the word chakra means disc or wheel, and refers to energy centers in your body. What are the seven main chakras? The crown. You're, now you're telling me your in your head, your crown chakra is not on, not blocked. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit too blocked. I'm getting a large energy coming off your enormous <laughs> crown chakra. <laughs> your crown chakra is almost disfigured. <laughs> Third eye chakra. <laughs> I'd pay four hundred if they could unblock my head. To be fair. Oh god. Third eye chakra is the old. Pineal gland or something, mm. which I think you do, you know, with a, a pile of fucking mushrooms, DMT or something. Like yeah. Throat chakra. Mm. Um, it's probably blocked with the vapes. In fairness, you know, these seem to be all the main places. <laughs> Where's the ass one? No, no, don't look at that. We'll get to that. They, these seem to be all the places. You know, when people are like really stressed out and then they get some sort of horrific illness, it's like in their head or in their throat or in their chest mm -hmm. or something. You know what I mean? It's like you got the throat chakra, you got the heart chakra, the solar plexus chakra. The sacral, sacral, sacral chakra? You know what the last one's called? Oh. The root chakra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, mine's just blocked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's good. <laughs> Thank God we got Brian and other seats in here. But <laughs> your root chakra? The root chakra. Yeah. That's hilarious. All my root chakra is about to. Yeah, I could cleanse the, the root chakra, no problem. I feel like I need mine routinely. <laughs> Unblocked on my root chakra. Yeah, so here's the steps to unblocking your root chakra. So just get in your side there. Right, right down your throat chakra. <laughs> root chakra uh, is located at the base of your spine and proves, or, or sorry, and provides with a base or foundation for life. How do you how do you unblock these bad boys? What's the love chakra? That's the heart one. I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, like a, that. That yeah, like these are. This is some ancient yogi type shit. These mm -hmm. have been around for millennia yes he's he's just making chakras up yeah your nut chakra is blocked uh what does it mean if a chakra is blocked or unbalanced uh how he gives a shit can a block chakra affect your health how do you unblock a chakra Yo, yeah yoga breathing practices to encourage the flow of energy i've said this many times before the few times that i've done some hardcore yoga i've never felt better in my life and you're sort of going, what, what, what would it, you know, what sort of self care would you have to embark on to do that regularly where you feel good all the time? Yeah. Instead you go, well, I know it does feel good, so I'll just put that in the back burner to win a fucking absolute burnout. Well, I know some people that live out there that are like, you know, 6 a.m., yoga, mm -hmm. affirmations, cold shower, run. I like, guess a lot of admin just to feel normal. Two pints do the same job. <laughs> If you grow in you fucking forget you have chakras. I saw a meme and it was like, if you have, if you have any form of anxiety whatsoever, the first two drinks don't count. They just make you feel normal. Oh, admin drinks. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. When you're like three pints deep. Have you ever drank? Have you ever drank for anxiety? Uh, I guess sometimes before gigs, yeah. Oh yeah, right. But not that. Well, that's just nerves. Like I have not, a few not admin like, bronies. Like not real. I, I I remember having like real anxiety for a while. But this is before everyone was talking about it and you actually really knew what it was. Yeah. I was just freaking out. But I remember one night just going like, yeah, I'm just going to have like a big fat vodka and ginger here just to go to sleep. Yeah, I would get that at night sometimes. So you were having anxiety going to your bed and you were like, I'm going to have a big yeah, ass I was just vodka. Like, you know when you're just in bed, just being like, <sighs> like I can't fucking get my breath. I'm just, I'm, I'm anxious. What a drink to go for as well, I feel all right, a vodka. It was just what was there. You know, uh, I mean, I wasn't going to have nine beers. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to have one cup yeah. and uh, just fall asleep. I think the grouse would unblock the chakra. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fizzle your chakras clean off your body. Yeah. 
No, I think my red chakra's blocked today because of the grass. Oh god, how are you gonna fucking bring this? You know, bring this back down to a steady pace for yourself. Monday. Monday. Mm. You going out over the weekend? No, no, no. I'll just well, yeah, because it's live podcast with Connor and uh, Mick on Saturday, so I'll probably turn into drinks. And then Mick today was like, "Oh yeah, just crash it, man." The night, so I was like, "All right, so that's gonna turn into drinks too." But Monday we're back in the game. It's, it's almost like that. You, it's like the more, it's like you gain power, the more fucked up you get. Yeah, class. I am a marathon drinker. Like, oh yeah, like the fringe. Like, the, see the way, way, see the way. I I offered you the fucking, I offered you the way out yesterday, mm -hmm. and you went no. Yeah, I'll be there. Tell us about your return journey home. That seemed like hellacious. That was rotten. That was like so. To break it down, it was like left Austin. 10 a.m. Got to the airport, flight left at 12. Then it was a five-hour flight from Austin to New York. Then a five-hour wait in JFK. Then a seven-hour flight from JFK to Dublin. Then Tim scooped me up from Dublin. Shout out. Shout out. And then his car broke down outside Monaghan. And then we had to wait two hours for a tow was, truck was to come get us. Was that his car, though? That didn't even look like It was his, his granny's Jeep. White smoke coming out of her. Then we had to wait two hours for someone to come tow us out. We got towed, went to Fentna. He then drove me from Fentna to my gaff. I immediately grabbed my stuff, got the bus, 45 minute bus to Dungannon. See you. Then we go from Dungannon to Belfast. And then I go on and tell yarns. <sighs> I had a bail that there was like, I had a, I had a call that early. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'd have been sitting in New York going like, I just let you know, I'm not going to be there. But then I did say to you, I was like, this is a hassle, man. You know, like, no. I was like, just stay at home. I'll go host. And you're like, no, no, I'll be there. Yeah. And then I pull up at Dungannon bus station and he looks like he's been shot dead on the grass. He's yeah. just lying there like a homeless vagrant. It's like I said, do you call him? What did you say to Don't me? ever let people say two things about me, right? Yeah. My head's that small. I don't love the craft. Yeah. And I don't... <laughs> Gets the ride once in four years. Can't stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Jesus Christ! He's done ten years of stand up. He's I'm fucking good at stand up, <laughs> and I've fucked four people. <laughs> so therefore, Ron Jeremy. <laughs> oh Jesus! Uh, shite and everything else. <laughs> That's true. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh Jesus! Um, can we? Let me just pull this up here. Um, just give me one second to do a little bit of admin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's watch Aaron living his dream. Now, <laughs> this is a video of Aaron singing uh, Break, Break, Stuff. Break Stuff by Limbiscuit. Yeah. Um, now, fun fact, I don't know anybody in this bar. The only person I know there is there the yourself? guy that's recording, Molly, who is working at the bar. Okay, go on, man. <laughs> what a banger to do at the karaoke, though. Oh, why? <laughs> In the trackies, too. Man's got the silken bulb. Dick swanging. It's the best bit, Baba. <laughs> you went from fucking. You went from Woodstock 99 to like fucking Balmoral show there in two seconds. It's all about the huge turn shit. Y'all are in, folks. We're trying to get a wee bit of a killing on here. Get on around the circle there, boys. Come on, ladies, don't be shy. Get up the front there, fuck's sake. I put my trackies on. You can, you can see my cock being through, the, through my fucking Adidas. Come on up. And then I wrote under it as a wee joke. Like, oh, there's, God, right, there's tea and minerals at the bar. And has about fucking 60 likes on it. Oh, heater. Heater. I, was, I didn't even really think of that seriously. Uh, <laughs> Come on, daughter. Get out there and fucking dig your heels up. Like Noah's Ark. I'm just grabbing <laughs> a wee Asian girls by the neck. Yeah, you wish, bro. I love the fact that you're, you're you're like 
you know, you're like multitasking there. You're, you're fully going, you know, a pack of chainsaw, <laughs> skin your ass raw, and uh, anything else. Uh, if the day keeps going this way, I might make this fucking thing tonight. Anyway, give me some break! <laughs> <laughs> fucking 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh, it was Fuck so it. fun. Come on, mate. Fucking get up there. This is the most fun I've ever had. Don't be shy. You only live once. Dance like nobody's watching. <laughs> Give her Biggins. Give her Biggins, lad. <laughs> Where are you from, Korea? Her name is Here we go. <laughs> I mean, the room's on fire. I mean, it, it looks like the back room of a fucking, uh, of some sort of rural inn. And you know, it's proven what we've talked about many times, which is music is so much cooler than stand-up. That's the worst cover of anything ever done. Uh, and I felt like the man. And afterwards, the amount of people that came up to me, never had that after again. Uh, <laughs> Mantle. <sighs> How do we uh, just fill a venue and the boys just do Limp Bizkit covers? <laughs> Oh, you we, didn't. We could do that. You could do no bother. Oh yeah. You could do no bother. I wanna, I wanna do that, but like in the fucking limelight one or something, and like get a big old pit going, you know. Yeah, you could do it tonight. I yeah, could, right, folks. I could get a band. No bother. Right. No bother. There it's we Nile go. doing everything as yeah. usual. <laughs> <Lap off>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, living the dream. Was Br- it, what, what, what were the other songs people were doing in that scenario there? There was two uh, oh. very gothic chicks did a cover of Evanescence. Nice. It was very good. <laughs> yeah, but they should have done that. Uh, what do you call them? Tattoo? Snogging each other? <laughs> <laughs> that was like full porn back in the day. Do you remember? <laughs> seen that All the things you said. All the things you said. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, it was just like one of them old kind of classic rock bars. Everyone there was having a good time. Full of metalheads. It was great crack. Chess club in Austin. Any other bangers going on? Any fucking what rage? Other haters were going out. Rage or anything like that? Someone did do Rage Against the Machine, yeah. Fuck you, won't do it, tell me! <laughs> you bastard, yeah. If you were in that environment, right, and you didn't have enough, uh, you know, you are faded off the grouse, what would be your karaoke song? If you were like, you know, you knew it was going to get the room pumping. Uh, probably Chop Suey by... There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Because you, you don't even need to know the words. I, I wouldn't even look at the screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that crowd would have loved Chop Suey. Oh, yeah. Especially that Asian guy. <laughs> <laughs> Real bad man. He blessed himself. Oh, Jesus, forgive me. <laughs> For the heavens, I assume you. I'm doing Chop Suey by <laughs> System of a Down. Sir, you'd like us being Asian or not. <laughs> I love it when you do racial humor and Nile just stares at the computer a bit like This is Nile all day. I know he's a fucking the reptile of it. You don't know what you don't know what you're getting out of him. He's just two heartbeats a minute. Like a gecko just soaking up the the light. <laughs> uh, Kelly and Anne Farm, that would be another killer. Which one? Uh, we'll be a go to you later art from art, uh, movies or. Smooth criminal. Yeah, third cover. <laughs> yeah. Woo, they all died in a car crash or something, didn't they? Did they? There was something horrific, some bus crash or something. Jesus Christ. Um, I can't, I've told you that before, I can't, I can't, I can't think about Alien on Farm without thinking about that guy giving his his email address in front of me at something. It was Ian Landform. That's <laughs> at, at hotmail.com. Yeah. I told, have I told you that before? Yeah, that's a banger. He's like, and what's the email for the th- receipt or whatever? He's like, Ian Landform <laughs> at hotmail.com. And I was like, <laughs> respect. You had, a, you had a slightly embarrassing email you had to change because I was slagging you. McCann RBD 35 at hotmail.com. Just all the things you like in an email address. <laughs> McCann man, Rob Van Dam, Tyler the Creator, Strawberry at milkshake. AOL.com, <laughs> Vape Lord 5000. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. No, it was great. <sighs> that, that, rock guy would be so fun. Oh, yeah. So what would your go to be now? Uh, karaoke was. What were we going to do now? We were supposed to do karaoke in Edinburgh. No, we were meant to do the Beastie Boys. That's right, but we never got called. We were going to do Fight for Your Right to Party. 
You imagine these two titans taking another stage in Edinburgh. I'll just in between the uh, lyrics. Just. <laughs> 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 yeah. Is it? His own headphones plugged into the desk. Got in the shaking his head a lot. Kick it! <laughs> he, he, only, he only fucking does the one like, let the beat mm, drop! And then just fucks the mic away. Uh, or you're doing intergalactic and he's just doing the heaven erection, heaven erection, heaven erection. <laughs> intergalactic with oh, a little another stormer. Yeah. Yeah, let's get drunk and go one, of the mo- one of the more mumblers. <laughs> Don't you tell me to. <laughs> I'd love to do that. Like there. <clears throat> oh. there was some place in London too that had like, again, karaoke is fun whenever they properly get into it. It was like a full live rock band and you got to just choose your song and the we'll full band play behind you. We'll That's fun as fuck. You and me, hold in, Beastie Boys. That's what you uh, need. Yeah. Just, Sir, the monotone boys. <laughs> Can I get some action from the back section? <laughs> or what? Turn that monitor up. <laughs> Turn the monitor up in the fucking cans, lad. <laughs> I'll start from you in, in my walk. <sighs> the walk was 1750 from Tesco's. I went down to Susie to give off at the price of it. <laughs> Me all in 50 cent. Take you to the candy, yeah. But you're paying you, boss. <laughs> <laughs> you did much. I fucking paid last time in the candy shop. You're trying to pay, you fucking boss. <laughs> right, we spit that ball in the candy shop. <laughs> you stick crypto. You did crypto. <laughs> the 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 break stuff's taking the energy out of me. Jesus Christ. Real bad man. You're the real bad man, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> not sex nuts deep. I'd KP McCann over here, the nut master. <laughs> Mr. KP. Mr. KP. <laughs> <laughs> Same head, never. <laughs> hey, old Sahara nuts, that's what you have now. Nice. Just not a drop of moisture in them. <laughs> Got that old walnut after fucking six Texas rounds. <laughs> I, d- I dare say you weren't that well hydrated either. I <laughs> No, it was full of Long Island iced tea. <laughs> well, Jesus Christ. I was feeling off the Long Island. <laughs> you know, here, what? It's got six shots in it, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Patreon.com. What is it, Bob uh, Squad Pod? Yeah. Fucking right. We'll see you next week. Get over on that Patreon. We're doing a bonus one. We're sweating up the back of our legs here. Thank you very much, folks. Cheers for listening. Uh, we're, we're, there are no more banked podcasts. We're going week to week with the hottest shit. Week to week. So yeah, cheers for joining us and we'll see you yeah, next week. Next week. Thanks, my guys. <laughs> Have a look. It does leave you in it, the headphones do. Oh, it does it. <laughs> Drop, 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 drop,